Hey, welcome back to Arbisource. Today, we are going to look at our exciting new game-changing feature, the XPath Finder. The XPath Finder is designed to make creating custom scans a much quicker and less painful process by automatically generating the required XPaths given only a handful of product details. First, if you aren't familiar with custom scans, these allow you to use the power of Arbisource to scan almost any online retailer. Better yet, any results that you find with custom scans are all yours and aren't shared with any other user, reducing competition and increasing your profits. While custom scans do require some upfront time investment, the lack of competition and speed at which you are able to scan a retailer makes them incredibly lucrative. The X Pathfinder can be found within the Create a Custom Scan page. Clicking this will open a new window where we can enter all of the required product information for our chosen retailer. Let's choose the retailer Forbidden Planet as an example. First, we will go to the retailer's website and select a category that displays a list of products. Once we have found a valid page, we can copy this URL and paste it into the category link field in Arbisource. Next, we want to find the total number of products on this page. While this isn't a required field, it can increase the likelihood that the X Pathfinder is able to generate valid paths. Looking back at our category page, we can see that there are 32 products per page, so we can go back to Arbisource and add this in. Now we want to provide Arbisource with one example for each of the required fields. Head back over to the category page and scroll down a few rows. This helps avoid issues with lazy loading, where products do not load until you scroll them into view. To ensure the paths Arbisource creates are generalized, it can be a good idea to take each of the product details from a different product. Let's start with the product name. Right-click on a product name and click Inspect. This will open the Chrome console. We want to copy the title exactly as it appears in the HTML of the page, but we can ignore the space at either end of the text. Once copied, we can head back to Arbisource and paste this into the Product Name field. We will then repeat this process for the image URL, product URL, and price. Returning to the Category page, we can right-click on a product image and click Inspect. Here we can see the image URL is in the source attribute, so we can copy this and paste it into RB source. Next, the product URL. We will again right-click inspect on the product and look for an A tag which contains the product URL. Here we can see why it is important we take the information from the HTML rather than the website, as the URL does not include the retailer's domain. Again, we will copy this over to RB source. Lastly, we will right-click, inspect, on the product price, and copy this into Arbisource. The remaining fields are all optional. The alternative sale price field can be used if the X path for a sale and non-sale item are different. We can also provide the text to indicate whether a product is in or out of stock. In our example, we could assume that the Add to Cart button indicates that a product is in stock. So let's right-click, inspect, and copy the text. Once you are happy with all of the information you have entered, you can click the Find XPaths button. Arbisource will now search for the product details you have provided and attempt to generate XPaths for this retailer. We can see that Arbisource has successfully managed to find a valid XPath for all fields. We can also confirm that all fields have only 32 results, matching the number of products compared and confirming the XPaths are accurate. Lastly, we can also check that the data being returned from each XPath is in the format we expected. Now we can click Use Selected XPaths and have Arbisource automatically fill in the custom scan creation form. Arbisource will also automatically fill in the URL and image URL prefixes where required. To complete the custom scan setup, you just need to provide the name of the retailer, a list of all the category links to scan, and the page number the scan should start from. For speed, we will just use the category we were looking at previously. Click to go to the next page of the category, copy and paste the URL into Arbisource, replacing the page number with two curly brackets. Now click Test and Arbisource will cycle through various scraping methods to find the one that returns the best results in the shortest time. We can see here that there are no errors. We have been given two examples of products found and that the scan is now ready. Before we save this scan, though, we have two warnings. 
The first warning tells us that the image URLs that have been found are small and may result in poorer image matching. We can click the Fix button next to this. We are instructed to visit the web page and find a larger version of a particular image. We can click to enlarge this image and then right-click Copy Image Address, paste this back into RBSource and click Find Differences. RBSource will now highlight the differences between the original smaller image and the new larger image. Here we can see we just need to replace thumb with large, so we can enter these into the two boxes below and click Use Override. The second warning tells us that no EANX path or regular expression has been provided. This isn't always available, however it is a good idea to check for this as it can massively improve the match quality of a scan. Again, click the Fix button. Here we are told to visit a particular product page, right-click View Page Source, and then search the HTML for a barcode. Common phrases to search for include barcode, EAN, GTIN, UPC, or MPN. Here we have found a GTIN number. Let's copy this and give it to RBSource. Now click Find XPath and RBSource will automatically try and generate an XPath or regular expression that leads to the barcode. We are provided with a number of options in a dropdown. You can select any of these and then click Use EAN XPath. Now that we have resolved both of these warnings, we can click Test again to ensure they no longer appear. Great! All warnings are gone and the scan is still valid. You have created a fully optimized custom scan. You can now have RBSource scan the entire retailer for you in the background while you continue sourcing on other retailers. Your results will never be shared with other RBSource users and you can continue to scan this retailer as often as you wish. Note that the first scan is likely to take significantly longer to complete due to Amazon API restrictions when searching for new products, but all subsequent scans will run at the speed you have come to expect from RBSource. Thank you for watching. We hope you found it useful. For more tips and tricks on how to maximize your Amazon selling potential with RBSource, stay tuned to our channel. If you aren't yet a member of RBSource, be sure to click the link in the description and start your 7-day free trial today.